something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kicks. It's time for the Pacific Touching. All right, uh, number six, happy hump day. Here's oh, an thanks, early uh, preview of spring. Now, I want you to forget about cherry blossoms, right? Those are those are so last year. Yeah, they are. It's all about the wisteria at uh, Ashikaga Flower Park in Japan. Yeah. Ooh, uh, mm. There are 350 wisteria trees in all, but really, who's counting? Yeah. And in some areas, they appear to be falling from the sky. Would you look wow, at how large all of them are? Looks like they're falling from the sky. Now, uh, there is still time, because the best time to visit is mid-April to mid-May. All right. So hmm. book your flights now. I mean, the park is open all year, but really, mid-April to mid-May yeah. is, is really when you want oh. to uh, really? plan your trip. Hmm. Oh, oh. Number five, ever doze off and feel like you're falling or you startle yourself awake? These experiences are known as sleep hiccups or hypnic jerks. Oh. And most of the time, they're nothing to worry about. They're just involuntary muscle movements. No one knows why they happen, but sleep scientists say Excessive caffeine intake and stress may increase their frequency. And number four, you can own a piece of literary history. Charles Dickens' former summer home is for sale. It's a five-bedroom house in London's exclusive Regent's Park. Dickens bought the house in 1861 and used it for the busy summer social season. Mm. It's been upgraded since then. It has six bathrooms, a gym, and a sauna. Also has a separate apartment, which includes its own kitchen and bedroom. Neighbors include Sasha Baron Cohen and designer Tom Ford. Wow. Mm. It can all be yours for $27 million. Wow. Let's see Dickens again. That was so yeah. good. Yeah, he was, was rocking. That was very he nice. He was yeah. in the money there. Oh, look at a mirrored wall. My parents were trendsetters with yeah. that back in uh, 82. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a whole uh, wood panel yeah. section downstairs, wow. too, I imagine. Wow. Good for him. He was quite ah. the uh, trendy guy. All right, uh, number three, all McGee. Uh, denim <laughs> maxi skirts are owning the moment right now. Huh. They're the perf transition pieces between now and springtime. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, and they'll be AOTP all over the place uh, come <laughs> summer. Pair them with a light sweater and some fun sneakers for a sporty look, or you might want to dress them up with some bright sandals. Best part, they are for every body, whether you're long and lean huh. or short and curvy. I got some of my favorites coming to you on my TikTok uh, under Polly Boys Max Moments, uh, and that's Max with uh, four lower case X's, mm -hmm. and that's going to be uh, at 2337 Military Navy time uh, 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 later on tonight. Be so. careful when you're typing in all those X's on yeah, there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> some other accounts. Yeah, I got to tell you, Reese Witherspoon was rocking like a maxi denim oh, yeah. skirt in that new movie with her and Ashton Kutcher that's yeah. on Netflix, number uh -huh. one movie. Uh -huh. Really not very good, yeah. but she looked fabulous. Mm -hmm. So I made me think I wanted to get a denim skirt that went like a line just below the knee, but now yeah. I'm thinking all the way. Anyway, yeah. we don't see it below the waist. Why do you bother? <laughs> yeah. This is for my off time. Oh. You know, yeah. so. When you're on the sofa. Anyway. Yeah, the people in the living room can see you. Uh, number two, is your relationship meant to last? Uh, the key might be knowing your partner's love language, the things they respond to, and the stuff uh, that puts a smile on their face. According to romance scientists, there are five love languages. Mm -hmm. They are words of affirmation, acts of service, quality time, physical touch, and listening. For example, your wife might not need to hear I love you every day, but she really likes it when you stop and put gas oh, in her car. Oh, that's mm. nice. Or your husband might not seem like he's listening, but he feels your love when you reach out and oh, hold his hand. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, number one, the latest fitness trend, adult ballet classes. Dance studio owners say their classes have tripled in size in the past year. They say ballet core is partially responsible. People really like the look of tights and leg warmers and yeah. cozy sweaters. Yeah. So they're willing to give ballet a try. So what are some of the benefits to taking a ballet class? Well, right. strength training, obviously. Mm -hmm. Aerobics, better posture, increased confidence. But keep in mind, if you haven't danced before, this is not something you want to jump into. So do your research mm -hmm. before you sign up. Yeah, I mean, that move where you're sticking your leg out completely to the side and you're leaning. Yeah. I'm out on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would just tip right over. You may want to start with the starters class. <laughs> yes. Maybe work your way up. All right. All right, there you go.